the two biggest killers in Canada are cancer, it's number one. Heart disease is number two. I mean, he's dealing with both. For our whole family, it was a shock. It was honestly, like, seriously, what do you mean there's something else wrong with him that has nothing to do with what's going on in his heart? Don, unfortunately, was diagnosed with prostate cancer. When men are diagnosed with prostate cancer, there's usually a few different options that people have. So often there's the option for people to have surgery or to have their prostate removed. Often it's not an option if people have like a serious other medical problem, particularly if, if someone has had problems with the heart like Don has had, it can be a big stress on the system to go through that. But for most men, radiation is a good alternative to that. The treatments have become a lot more precise, so meaning that we can target the cancer better. The reality is, is that we expect them to live a long time just because treatments are so effective. But those treatments can cause an effect on the heart too, so it's always important for like us as doctors to be mindful. When the diagnosis came, uh, I'm telling you honestly, it wasn't that traumatic. It was more like, okay, well, we're, well we will work through this and it's going to be okay. At the time of his bad implant, we did actually consider transplant as a potential option for him in the future because his health was otherwise well. Um, Don has since learned that he has prostate cancer, so he will not qualify for transplant. Mm -hmm.